Okay, welcome back. Let's look at the King of the Mountains, that iconic polka dot jersey. And Roman, before we talk about who we think will wear the final polka dot jersey, could you take me through Paddy Power's latest prices, please? Alors at the moment, we have Thibaut Pinot favorite at three to one. Uh, second favorite is Rafael Maishka at seven to one. He won the uh, polka dot jersey twice in a row. Uh, Pierre Roland is nine to one and Thomas de Ghent, 12 to 1. Okay. All the big favorites are of the um, uh, general classification are more or less around 25 to 1. OK, we'll come back to you in a minute for your King of the Mountains fancy, but we'll start with you, Matt Ireland. Who's going to win this? Um, it usually has a big bearing on the overall, um, but with only three summit finishes, I think it could go to a breakaway. And as much as he caused me so much heartbreak at last uh, year's Giro, I fancy Chabas. He's not been on great form, he's been injured which I think would see him probably out of the overall kind of standings. Uh, so he might, in the second week, probably go and target this. OK. I think, the uh, Nick, <clears throat> it's interesting, isn't it? They, they ride over the five major mountain ranges in France, don't they? So there's mountains as early as stage five, isn't there? So will that change the dynamic of the, of the, the way that the polka dot jersey is contested? I think this might end up being a completely separate contest to the overall. Um, I mean, I looked at the last seven winners... They've, they've, three times they've been in the top five, but other times they've been 27th, 44th, 26th, 44th. So I think there'll be someone who's out of the overall. Um, who's that going to be? I've got my eye on Ion Isaguer. <laughs> oh, look, I've, yeah, I've just seen, yeah, yeah, Matt's got that down as well, yeah. Um, he won a stage last year. He's in good form. He's up and coming. He, he could be targeting it, so, you know. He's, he's probably is. What, 150 to 1. There you go. What about that? Roman, don't cut those odds just yet. No, no, no worry. What do you think? Who's going to win the polka dot jersey, Roman? Uh, I really like the two tips uh, I heard uh, previously. I will go as well for a, um, kind of a, an upset. Um, I like Lilian Calmejan. Okay. Uh, he's a French guy. He's from Direct Energy. I think this year's um, uh, polka dot jersey will go for a breakaway guy. For the reason, it's only one top mountain finish dub uh, doubling the points in Isoar, uh, 50 points. But it will be plenty of stage, uh, especially the stage 9 and the stage um, uh, 12 on the Bastille Day, where it will be plenty of uh, uh, intermediate uh, mountain, especially hors category mountain. And uh, I think breakaway guys will have a very good chance. Excellent. So there you go. The guys are going for some big prices. Will anyone go for a big price in the top team uh, competition? I guess this is dominated by the uh, by the big guns, isn't it? Uh, Roman, how do you bet on top team? Uh, at the moment, we are uh, seven to four on Movistar, nine to four on Team Sky, and four to one on AG2R. And who's your selection for top team, Roman? We'll start with you. I like AG2R. Uh, it's a team of Romain Bardet. It's a very well-balanced team between uh, mountain specialist Romain Bardet, uh, Pierre Latour is very good, a young lad, uh, Alexis Villermoz and Mathias Franck. And for the breakaway, they have Backlands, Domon, Gauthier, Gastauer and Nysen, and they will all go to breakaway. And I think it's, in my opinion, a good bet. OK, any thoughts on the team, Matt? Uh, I, I've just... Flagged up movie star, really. Um, Who's their sort of third man, though? Because we obviously it, know that, she, or we expect Chavez and, uh, and Valverde to be well up there, but you need a third guy, yeah, don't you? Yeah, is it Bentacore? Carlos oh, Bentacore. Bet Bet yeah. yeah. Um, I, basically, last year, if, if Sky are you know, in for the overall uh, classification, then their kind of defensive tactics just mean they, they just put everyone around, around through them, which halfway up a climb, they're going to be spent. Uh, movie star... Two years ago, Froome won, and they Movistar won the team classification by nearly an hour. So. That's not bad, is it? So just to, to remind you, uh, it's the it's the basically the performance of the top three, three riders, yeah. isn't it? It's stage, the combined yeah. time of them. So Nick, any thoughts on the team? Well, it's interesting going back to um, BMC, and you know how strong they are for Port. I think they will be a lot stronger this time. It's a different team than it was in the Dauphiné. I think they could go quite well. Um, they were in close contention last year with Sky and Movistar until 
you know, only four or five stages to go, and then they, they fell away a bit. So it looks like a big well, who gap. Are, again, who are their three guys going to be? Obviously, Port, and then who? I haven't got the list to hand. I, mean, I just want you, this but, is the thing, isn't it? And if, also, if they are in support of Port and Port is contending, hmm. then surely all eyes are on that. And they're not, you know, they're going to, once they've done their work up to the final climb, they'll fall yeah, away. Yeah, but there's going to be other days when they're going to be up there. You know, they were in the same position last year and, and, and did quite well. And I think Astana as well, will, will, you know, could be one at a big price. Well, that's but, the thing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Fogsang and, and, and Aru yeah, will go well. Yeah. And, they, yeah. you know, they've usually got back up, haven't they? To, hmm. to if you've got there. two to go at it, you were in a much better position. Yeah, interesting. Okay, top young rider, the white jersey. What's the latest betting from Paddy Power, Romain? So we have uh, Louis Mendiez, the South African uh, uh, guy, at 6 to 5. Simon Yates uh, at 11 to 8. Emmanuel Bushman at 6 to 1. And Pierre Latour at 10 to 1. Okay, and we'll stick with you for the selection, please, Romain. I like Simon Yates this year, uh, I know he's not the leader of Orica, he's the joint leader with Chavez, but he did very well in the Dauphiné, he finished 13. He was a second of the Tour of Romandie this year as well, and he finished sixth in the Vuelta last year. I think he has, uh, well, you know, the pace and the momentum to finish, you know, in the top 10 of the Tour, and I think he's a good contender to beat uh, Maintiès and Bushman. OK, I mean, I, I, I think Menches is a very solid favourite. I, do, I think yeah. he's been riding well this year. What do you reckon, Matt? Yeah, I, I would go for the favourite. He was eighth last year. Uh, he was eighth for the Dauphiné when Yates was kind of 15th, 13th, something like that. 13, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he he was just behind Bookman, money he, at, at, the, uh, at the Dauphiné, but probably would have beat him on the... He did beat him on the final stage on the mountain finish, so... And he's actually showing some ability he to get good, out yeah. and do something mm. now, isn't he? Because he looked like one of those kind of Escartan characters who just wheel-sucked all the way. But he's young, he's, he's coming yeah, forward definitely. now, isn't he? Any thoughts on the young rider, Nick? Well, I wouldn't discount Bookman either. He was he was a long way behind um, Adam Yates and, and Menkes last year, but um, he's, he's definitely improved this year and... The other day, as well as what he did in Dauphiné, but the other day he was in a two-man break for the German Road Championships and, and was just beaten. So, you know, he's obviously in good form and I think I think it'll be close between the three of them. To be OK, honest. excellent. Well done, lads. This is all going extremely well. We'll be back to discuss one of the world's greatest sportsmen next.